After the test run at the factory, some elements has been disassembled from the machine in order to minimize the shipment package size. We are now going to reassemble the port pickup unit and the electrical sockets. We move the plate located at the back of the machine to make room for the part conveyor. Then fit the part conveyor inside the machine. Prepare your bracket. This bracket is going under the part conveyor. It is fixed by two screws on the right side of the part conveyor. You can now push the part conveyor all the way in and you can install the deflector. This deflector is made to avoid any damage on the parts when the parts are dropping. There is one screw to fix this one. Then you install the glass on the left side of the part conveyor. Two screws to fix this one. Press the part conveyor against the machine and install the metal sheet. Two screws to fix this one on the side of it. Align it properly and tighten those screws. You can now install the part catcher itself. It should fit on the top of the part conveyor. Then you have two screws to fix this one to the back operation block. Tighten those. We still have some brackets to install at the back of the machine. This one has three fixation screws. One on the left side and two at the bottom. This bracket is made to close the gap you have at the right of the part conveyor. A too important gap will allow oil mist to leak outside of the machine. Ok, it is now time to fix the part conveyor itself. To do it, you have two screws located at the top of it. You first need to visually align the part conveyor before tightening those two screws. Let's now install the oil collection plate. To do it, you have four screws located at the bottom of it. You can first install the two screws on the left side. And from the two screws at the right side, you first need to install a bracket before it. We will now install the cover of the motor. To do so, you first need to install a bracket again. Use the Allen key to do it. And then you can install the cover itself.
We are coming back inside the machine again to install the lid of the part conveyor. You have one fixation screw behind the enclosure at the end of this one. Then it's time to install the part box support. To do so, you first need to disconnect the quick connector in order to pass the part box support. Then you can reconnect the quick connector and fix this support with the four provided screws. Note that there is an oil return pipe fixed to a fitting under this part box support. This pipe is going to the oil tank. You can now visually align the part box support, tighten the four screws and put the part box on it. 